On today's episode of Glow Trotting with Trey, join me in Meridian, Mississippi to see another cool Elvis spot. Stay tuned. So here's a picture of Elvis and Jimmy Rogers Snow, the son of Hank Snow, and he was named after Jimmy Rogers, of course, on top of Elvis's 1955 pink Cadillac. They were at a parade in Meridian, Mississippi, in this picture, to honor the life of Jimmy Rogers, country music star Jimmy Rogers. And this was on Thursday, May the 26th, 1955, that morning. Elvis would perform later that evening at this football field that I did in a previous episode, so be sure to go back and check out this episode. So where was this picture located? Check out the building behind Elvis. Check out the windows where all those boys are sitting out of. Look at this crowd. Unbelievable crowd that day. I heard there was over 60,000 in Meridian, Mississippi for this two-day event, so a huge crowd. But where in the world could this picture have been located? Well, I stopped in Meridian, Mississippi and did just like the spa guy and I do. And what I found was that picture was captured right here in front of us at the now WTOK TV building. Elvis was right here once upon a time in his life, as you see how I've lined the picture up. And it's a pretty good matchup. Right here, Elvis would have been right in this location in front of me, standing on this street there on May the 26th, 1955. And once again, I am happy that this old building exists. Check out these windows here above the WTOK TV station right there. Check those windows out. Now look back at the picture. We'll zoom in. There is the windows right there. The front of the facade has been changed. The building is still the same. It helps me locate Elvis right here on this street. Elvis and the parade would have traveled just like these cars are traveling in front of us on that road. Crowds would have been all right here in front of me where I'm standing at filming. Now the WTOK TV station out of Meridian, Mississippi. Can you envision all those people out there just having a great time for the Jimmy Rogers parade to honor the life of country music legend Jimmy Rogers. Can you imagine Elvis's pink Cadillac on this road back in 1955? Elvis, young Elvis, before his superstardom year. You know, this would be May of 55. So May of 56, he's the biggest star in the world. But May of 55, he would have passed these old buildings. Here's an old movie theater, the Temple Movie Theater of Meridian, Mississippi. That's a nice marquee out front. Yeah, these old buildings, it's, it's fun to see. It was a rainy day when I stopped here, but I had to capture this for you. I believe right here, so this is the street that picture was captured on. They would have turned right here in front of me. And I have proof right here on this picture of Ernest Tubb. There's the building that was in the photo with Elvis. So they would have turned right here and gone down this street. This would have been the parade route. So Elvis would have, of course, seen these old buildings here. And definitely that big building. That was here in 1955. But the parade would have traveled down this road, which I believe is 23rd Avenue. And it would have gone down to that red light. Here's some pictures that I found of Elvis from that day on his pink Cadillac. Now check out this picture of Elvis with a movie camera. A movie camera? So could have Elvis been like the spa guy in Trey? Glow trotting with Trey? I think Elvis liked cameras. I like cameras too. So I did my investigation on this camera in the picture with Elvis from May of 55. And this camera was called a Revere Model 40. And it was made by the Revere Camera Company of Chicago, Illinois. So this camera was an 8mm home movie camera. And it would actually shoot 12, 16, 24, 32, and 48 frames per second. So Elvis that day could have been filming 24 frames per second, which is the 
rate that they film cinematic movies with and the rate of the film that I shoot this episode of Glowtrotting with Trey with, 24 frames per second, Elvis could have been filming the same style that I filmed today for you guys to enjoy these Elvis episodes. Elvis was captured with this camera a few times in his life during 1955. So yeah, he was like glow trotting with Trey. He was like a spa guy. He had a movie camera and he had it with him everywhere that he went. But what happened to the camera? That pink Cadillac that Elvis was sitting on burned in Arkansas in June of 55. A month later, that camera that Elvis was holding in that picture was destroyed in the pink Cadillac fire. It was in his uh, glove department. I just hope that Elvis left the film that was captured that day in Meridian, Mississippi. I hope it's in the archives of Graceland yet to be discovered so we can have footage that Elvis actually filmed on his episode of Glow Trotting with Elvis. So Elvis was right here literally on this road. Once upon a time in his life, I'm standing at the place where that photo was captured at. Look at that old building in the background. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Pretty interesting old building. I don't know what it was, but it was something once upon a time in its life. Elvis was here, literally right here. Once upon a time in his life. Thursday, May the 26th, 1955, here in Meridian, Mississippi. So who was Jimmy Rogers? Let's learn a little bit about Jimmy Rogers so you'll get a better understanding of why Elvis and the other musicians were there in Meridian, Mississippi for this parade and for performances. Jimmy Rogers is described as the father of country music. The father of country music. He supposedly was born in Meridian, Mississippi, yet some say he was actually born in the town uh, next to Meridian. He did work in Meridian, Mississippi as a young man in the railroad yards. And he is remembered as a guy that would sing and play his guitar out there and was a hard worker. He got sick, though, of tuberculosis, I believe, when he was 27 years old. So he had to quit working in the railroad yard because it just it was caused him a lot of troubles breathing out there and that's when he really pursued his singing career that's what he was passionate about and he decided to go for it so he auditioned got lucky and pretty much overnight he becomes a recording star it says in 24 rogers started singing and traveling shows vaudeville shows medicine shows and various other productions in 1927 he first performed on the radio in asheville north carolina and recorded his first songs in bristol virginia although he made records for only six years between 1927 and his death from tuberculosis in 1933 he recorded for rca and was 10 percent of all their sales was his song so 10% of RCA's record sales was Jimmy Rogers' records. So the guy was very popular and very loved and respected. What was interesting about him, he dies of tuberculosis at the age of 35 years old. 36 hours before his death, he recorded his last song in New York City called Years Ago. I'm going to put the link in this video so you can go and listen to the record that Jimmy Rogers recorded 36 hours before his death. He was very sick when he recorded this song. They said that, you know, he had to take breaks in between singing and he would go to the Taft Hotel in New York and pass away after recording years ago. So Elvis and other musicians and the next year Johnny Cash were in town in Meridian, Mississippi to celebrate his life. Jimmy Rogers Day, which was a two or three day event. They had shows around the town at the football stadium that I covered. Elvis was here in May of 55. Elvis was a fan of Jimmy Rogers and he liked Jimmy Rogers' music. I found two great clips of two people that was very influential in Elvis's career talking about how Jimmy Rogers influenced them. Hank Snow, who is the father of Jimmy Rogers Snow in the picture with Elvis here at Meridian, Mississippi, and of course a big star in himself and helped promote Elvis early on, plus Sam Phillips. Yeah, 
Sun Records, Sam Phillips, who discovered Elvis Presley. Many people know that Jimmy died with tuberculosis at an early age. But he wrote a lot of train songs while he was working on the Southern Railway among various railways in America. And was a great inspiration, as I say, to me. And that's where I got the idea of writing some of the train songs that I had written. I first heard Jimmy Rogers when I was very young. I was in my teens, and uh, uh, we had one of the old crank up gramophones we called it right. and I heard Jimmy's first first record on the on the RCA label it was Moonlight and Skies and I became an ardent fan right at that minute straight away right away no question yeah. I either had to duplicate Jimmy Rogers success before I died or else all around the water tank waiting for a train, Jimmy Rogers. We had finally got enough money to make a down payment on an old Victrola. Some of us called it a graphophone. We had uh, two records, Blue Yodel Number 2 by him and All Around the Water Tank, Jimmy Rogers. That's the only two records we had in the house. But let me tell you something. Now, this is significant. Those records never got so scratchy until they got where you couldn't hear them at all to where we didn't play them because we could still hear it. We think about Elvis and the thousands of people that would mob Elvis, you know. But back in 1933, it was like that with Jimmy Rogers. So make sure to go check out the earlier video that I did of Elvis in Meridian, Mississippi at this very train at Jimmy Rogers' park. I show you his museum today, so I think you will enjoy that. I will put the link in the description below. But Elvis was right here, May the 26th, Thursday, May the 26th, 1955, here in Meridian, Mississippi. So I think the parade would have turned right here. This building is in the picture with Elvis. I'm going to show you Elvis, in this picture you're looking at, was right here where I'm at. And they came down this street. And they made a left here. Because this picture proves it. That I'm showing you on screen now. So they made a left here, came down 8th Street here in Meridian, Mississippi. And this is what Elvis would have seen that day on top of that car. Here's my favorite building, that huge building. You know that was there when Elvis was here. He had to glance up at that. But yeah, Elvis was here in 1955. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Glow Trotting with Trey, and I hope you learned something new. Don't double dribble. Subscribe to my channel. It's free, and you stay updated with every new video that I upload each Tuesday on Elvis and special ones here and there. Till next time, hey, like it, share it with your friends. This helps me out. Most importantly, press that thumbs up on this video to let YouTube know that, hey, I might have an interesting show here. Till next time, I'll see you down the road. Thanks for watching.